Hello. I have a Value Village haul and some online stuff haul that I got. I'll do the thriftage first. I got 30% off of everything because I've donated so much. When I go there, I go to visit my items. <laughs> but, but, you know, a lot of my stuff isn't there. I think they sold a lot of it because it's so wonderful. <laughs> That's my story anyway. This was $3.99. 30% off, but it's got a repo doll in it that is pretty good. Oh, sorry, gosh, girl. All right, she can't keep her top on. Oh, she needs her ponytail redone, but that's an easy fix. But yeah, she's pretty good. For $3, I can fix this. So that's neat, and it's got this, ew. Somebody lost their shoe. Well, look at her. She looks like she, that's, she looks like she, oh boy, girl. There we go. Straighten up. This one's going to go back and live in the thrift store again. Sorry. Take your extra creepy shoe with you. <laughs> look at she got ballet. This, she's like no end of problems here. She's wearing her ballet shoes on. Girl been partying too much, I think, after ballet class. So, goodbye. But this girl will keep. Mm -hmm. This is neat. This was a dollar less 30, and I got it to get this Zill. Because I like Zills. Because we need more trolls around here. I have another, I'm on my third pack of trolls I'm going to be listing. Ooh, this is nice. He just needs a little, oh, he's got horns. Look how cute that, oh, look at, he's got a cute little tail. He just needs a little cleaning up. Oh, they have inset eyes, that's neat. Yeah, you can use a Clorox sponge on this to get this grub off, and then I just clean this with, you know, you can just use a dog brush on this. Oh, he's cool, though. Pink sparkles, what more do you want? And then there's some other items in here, yuck. They can go live with Barbie at the junk store. Ew. This doll, one time I had to design clothes for this doll. I had to make a pair of jeans for this doll. And I tell you, I said some bad words. Like, ew. Yeah. <laughs> What's this thing? Ew. Uh, ew. His body turns. I don't really see the point of that. You know? I don't know. You're just doing stuff to make it do stuff, I guess. All right, that's going to go back. But these two items are very nice. Oh, he's got a little, oh, he's got like a little reindeer-y thing. Oh, maybe these are reindeer. Oh, that's very cute. Oh, that'd be cute at Christmas with that pink and white. Yes. Keeper. Let's see. What else did we get? Oh. Mr. Retro's got this super fun and exciting <laughs> item. <laughs> awesome. It's a, a cord for <laughs> his gaming system. Yes, dollar forty nine. So you know those old kind. Old kind of A V cords. So yay. So that's thirty percent off. Oh, you shouldn't pay for that stuff. Oh, here's another Mr. Retro's fun pack. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, everyone. I know you can't wait for me to bust into this guy. Super nice. $2.99, less 30. This is $2. I want the clamp. Yeah. Check out this clamp. You know, we have a whole drawer full of clamps. And when we're doing a project, I swear, you run out of clamps. There's not enough clamps or glue in the world for this house. So there's an extra. And he, oh, he loves these. That's a cheapie. Is it cheapie? Yeah, but it's all yeah, right. It says it's heavy it. duty. He'll carry this around in his pocket for emergency. Wrenching. Nuts and bolts. And wrenching. <laughs> and, oh, another thing. <laughs> oh, these are all his top. These are his top three faves. Look at this. Is it level? Dirty. <laughs> That's level enough, don't you think? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, that's level. <laughs> it's good enough. Nail it on there. <laughs> that's how it goes. Like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> okay. 
And this is another oh. one. I did not pick this out. This is, one like of, <laughs> this is one of Mr. Retro's faves. Since we put the VCR in the basement for the gaming system. And look, it's like new <laughs> from Blockbuster. Actually, I do have this album and it's pretty good. It's very cute. They're cute. And this was 99 cents, so this was like 50 girl. cents, so. They're like Spice Girls, only they're kind of cleaned up, you know, sanitized Spice Girls. Oh, there's another retro, Mr. Retro's item. <laughs> it's this game thing. It's a, I thought it was that Yoshi thing, but I was corrected. No, it's not. It's a turtle. It's one thing. of those turtles in Maryland. Yeah, and they go like this, you know, and then they try to knock you over. But you can't hit them, I guess. I Isn't that what so. you do? You hit them? Yeah. yeah. Okay, see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ages seven and up, so <laughs> we're good there. <laughs> and well, this thing was ten ninety nine. Can you imagine? Yeah. No. But it's cute. You know, you could hang this from your rear view. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. It's got a hook and everything. So we'll work on that. So that was... Three ninety nine less thirty. What else? Oh, another nice Mr. Retro's item. <laughs> Doubles. It, it was a double event. At the, oh, this one's still wrapped up. They didn't use it in their system. This is the three deal. So that was a dollar forty nine. Is there another one in here? No. <laughs> Oh, this. I got this. Dollar ninety-nine less thirty. It's Victoria's Secret lotion, and I read the ingredients, and it wasn't any aloe vera, and it looked like all good stuff. It's called Amber Remembrance. And I hope it's not pew pewy. So I will test this. Let's see. Back. No. No, it smells. It smells familiar. You know, it almost, it almost smells like Joy, which is my favorite perfume. So that means it must have violets in it. I think that's violets right there. No, this is really nice, actually. Let me see how it. Hope it's not like that yellow lotion you get from Clinique. Oh, no, that smells good. Yeah, no, this is this is a winner. So that was like a a dollar, and it, and it was full. So I never go in this underwear store since I'm allergic to elastic and skimpy underpants. And this, <laughs> I have a I have a thing for <laughs> these bears. But these were these were brand new, six ninety nine, and then I got thirty off. They also had a Jeff Durham ventriloquist puppet that I was I made her get out and I, I took it out and I was playing with it but they wanted ninety dollars for it but it was kind of where the eyeballs went which ah oh, so cool ninety bucks ventriloquist dummy ventriloquist dummy didn't isn't that what I said uh, no okay <laughs> this is a riding outfit for Muffy or Hoppy Hoppy but her ears could interfere with the hat this is a Highland fling. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that'd be good on that bunny. See, here's the bunny. Here's Hoppy. See, it's really. These are nice. You know, they're all jointed and they're from the '80s. This. Oh, this would look good on her. Yep. Then they have probably have rabbits and stuff. And then this is my Muffy, but she's got her school outfit on, so we can we can switch her out. See, that's a cute outfit. Look at those shoes. And she's got a little purse. I don't know what she's got in there. It's a big wadded up piece of cardboard, Muffy. Now that's for those guys. You know, they're not worth a lot, but I like them. I'll keep them for a while. Okay, that's my thrift hurl. And this, these I got off eBay. This took forever to get here. But they're guards for when you do your polish. And you just, because when you, see, you put them like that, 
some of these are kind of big and, and like that so because sometimes the I get a little ugh, on the edges when I'm doing my polish you know it's a bifocal problem and that way you don't get stuff all over you could also do it when you're stamping these would be good and I think this is like 99 cents for these because you could just wear them around you know so oh I can't do that because I have my things on my fingers so those were cool eBay this is I finished completely finished this guy and look at it's clear coated and it the clear coating gives it a more vintage look it gives it a finished look and it kind of puts a little amber cast to it that I like and then I lined it with that vintage wallpaper so this one all completed and let's see oh this is my beautiful doll that I got from my friend Julian he makes these dolls and she's just ugh, she's really really cool and she's got molded shoes on and I put her in this outfit it's not really great for her but she's really got a neat sculpt and this is a wig love the wig I can have the plastic on because I'm afraid I'm gonna mess it up <clears throat> but I love this doll it's really snazzy same, same size as Barbie and I got my shoes my other from hot chocolate look at this cute container they came in See? Las Originales. And it's like a little milk, like, you know, hot chocolate milk thing. And they got these. They got the bacon and eggs and the flats. And I wore them when there wasn't, it wasn't raining, but I still got mud on it, on the bottom. So I got to clean them off. I'm not going to show you the bottoms. They're there. But yeah, they are. Oh, God, they're cute. They're super comfortable really really comfortable and i went down a size because my i wear an eight and a half so when it the other ones are nines a little bit big and so i went down which they say to do and so i got the eights and these seem to fit perfect so these are a winner and i finished my dress i finished my dress this is that fabric i got there's a string there's a string i gotta snip my strings I, this is the fabric I got it. Oops. Deseret, that's knit. And then this is other fabric I got somewhere else. So I didn't have enough to do the whole thing, which I don't generally like to do a whole pattern. And I like to mix. So I put some contrast with it. Easy peasy. And I figured it'd be nice for spring and summer. So, oh, and this is, it's, I line the bodice. And this bodice is not cooperating lately. But I line the bodices, then I don't have to do facing, because I don't like to do facing. Plus, you get a little extra coverage in the bodice area. It never hurt anybody. So, that's my story for today. I think that's it. I'll see you later. Have a good week.